Welcome back aliens, my name is Davin Vendi and let's continue with the series on Python. Now we have talked about variables and we have talked about functions, right? Now when it comes to functions and variables, of course we will be creating variables inside a function and normally we can create variables outside the functions as well. That's where a concept comes into picture called a scope. Now what is scope here? So let's say you have a normal variable, right? So let's say I will take a variable called as a because we all love this later. We have a variable called as a and the value for this a is let's say 10, okay? Very simple. And then I want to create a function. So I will say a function. Of course, I, I want to print this uh, a as well. So I will, print, uh, I will print the value of a here. So of course, when you run this code, it will be 10, right? They will not, we are not doing anything else. So we got 10. But let's say if I define a function in between, okay, and this this function name is let's say something because we are, we don't care what the function name is. So we got a function name called a something, and in this something function, I am creating another variable. I was, I'm saying the variable name is again a. Oh, that's weird. So we have a variable again a, and then I'm printing the value of a here. So you can see we have two variables. Now, is it possible to create two variables in the same code? Yes, if they have different scope. Example here, this a, the a outside the function, it is called as a global variable, and the a inside the function is called as a local variable. So it is local, right? Local to the function. Which also means you cannot use this variable outside. Example, if I create a variable here which is b, and if I say b is 8, and then if I try to use this variable outside here, if I say print b, so you, it will not work, you know, because we don't have a b variable. You can see we are getting an error, which is unresolved reference. Now, of course, we have b, but it is inside a function, right? So the scope of that variable is inside the function. But what about this a? Again, this is a local variable. So the scope of that a is inside the function and scope of this a is everywhere, right? So you can access this a from anywhere in the file. Okay, that's perfect. Even if you have 10 functions, you can use that a. So now the question is, if I, if I run this code, what do you think the output would be? In fact, I will print here function. At least we'll know from where you're getting the output, right? So here I will say uh, outside. Okay, so we have in function and then we have outside. Okay, so you tell me what will be the output. So this in function a will print 15 or 10 or this one will print 10 or 15. Now, first of all, we are not calling something, right? Of course, something will not be called then. So we have to call something as well. So now let's run this code and let's see what happens. The moment you run this code by saying shift F10, you can see we got the output which is in function 10, 15 and outside 10, which means the local variable inside the function, the preference, okay, that's important. The preference will be always given to the local variable right so that's why we got in function a so this a is a local variable and that's why you got 15 right now what about outside so this this will print 10 because this is what you are accessing here right you cannot access the in local variable outside the function okay that's perfect but what if what if i don't have a variable here so in this case if you don't have a variable inside the function can i use this global variable inside a function directly. You can see there is no error as of now, but let's, if I run this code, okay, it works. So you can see we are able to get that here. That's perfect. So we can access a global variable inside the functions as well. This is so simple, right? Even if you have 10 functions, you can access that variable anywhere. But here's a twist. What if after, uh, let me change the value of it. I will say the value of it is 15 now. So I'm changing the variable A to 15. But is it a local variable or the global variable now? Because I'm changing it, right? That's where the problem starts. Because till this point, we were thinking that's a local variable. But I want to change the value of a global variable now. Every time you say a15, it will create a new variable. And you can see the outside, the global variable is still 10. Okay, now how do I change it? So if you want to specify, hey, this a which we are using here is not a local variable. It is a global variable. In that case, you have to mention explicitly global a. So this is the this is where you are specifying to Python. Hey Python, my intention here is to use a global variable, not the local one. Okay, that's why I'm saying global a. And now if you run this code, here you go. You can see that the outside, the global variable also is 15 now because the change is not on the local one because we don't have a local variable here. Okay, we don't have a local variable here. This is a global variable. Simple, right? So this is how we refer to a local variable and a global variable. So if you want to use a global variable, you need to use a keyword called as global, okay? Of course, you can access it, but the moment you reassign the value, it will create a local variable. We don't want that, right? And that's why I say global. So this works. But there's a problem here. 
If you say global a, which means in this function we have an a variable now. And if you want to create another a variable, you cannot do that. Example, once I go ahead and if I say a equal to 9, now I want this a to be local variable. Can we do that? Can we have a global a and local a in the same function? It's not possible because the moment you say a now, it will treat that a as a global variable. Oh, so that's the problem now. So we want to achieve, we, we want to use a concept of global and local in the same function. So in that case, of course, this is not a good idea. So we will not use this. We will create a local variable, which is a equal to 9. So we want that. Okay, let's not change it. So the idea here is we want a local variable a, but we also want to change the global variable a. How can we do that? So that's where we have a special function called as globals. Okay, uh, so using globals, we can access the local variable address. Okay, so the, the global variable address. So what we can do is we can say x. So see, we just want to get the access to that a, right? The global one. So you will say x equal to, there's a function called as globals. And now this globals will give you all the global variables, okay? Not just one, because you might have multiple variables, right? You will say you have uh, b equal to nine, you got c equal to uh, nine. So you might be having different multiple variables. In that case, uh, it, so when you say globals, it will return all the global variables, but we only want one, right? So in that case, you need to specify, hey, I want a global variable with a name a. So we are trying to get the access of that a. Okay, now if you want me to prove it, let me just do that. So let's not, so let's also print the IDs of the variable. So I will say print the ID of A and also print the ID of X. So if they are same, if they are pointing the same address, that means our job is done, right? Uh, so let's verify. See, look at the IDs now. So both the IDs are same. That means this X is also referring to the same value, which is 10. Okay, that's important. And now we can change the value. So if you want to change the value, don't change the value of x because the moment you change the value of x, it will create a new variable called as x. So we have seen that before, right? If you change the value of x, it will just create a new memory. Uh, in that case, what you will do is you will say, if you really want to change the value, so you will say globals of a, instead of creating a different variable, simply say globals of a is equal to 15. So now what you're doing is you're changing your global variable. Okay, that's important. So if you want to change the global variable A without affecting the local variable, that's where you will use globals A. And you can see the global variable now is 15. Oh, and you can see that we got in function nine, which is the value of local variable A, and we got outside 15, which is the global, which is the global variable value. Okay, that's fun. So this is how we use a global and local in the same function. In fact, uh, if you can also print the value of X, which will give you the initial value of A, which is 10. So that works. This is how we use global and globals in Python. Do click on that thumbs up button. It does motivate me. And thanks so much for watching everyone. Bye-bye.